Hello again, my fellow Jetty users, and in this video, we're going to look at your options for using BuddyBox with a wire instead of the wireless system that uh, Jetty originally uh, came up with. What I'm not going to do is show you how to set up all the sort of buddy box handing over options. Uh, I have a previous video all about uh, buddy box and how you can hand over various functions, etc. So that's the one to watch for those bits. What I'm going to do here is concentrate on how you set it up for using the wire. Now, Jetty, uh, I've never been convinced they've really understood buddy box and I'm still not sure they've quite got the hang of it. One of the problems with wireless buddy box was that uh, it used one of the two transmission modules in the teacher transmitter to talk to the pupil transmitter, which is fine, except you might have a model that's in double path and you've lost one of your transmission modules, so it's not going quite the way you'd intended it to. And you might think, well, what is a learner doing with the sort of model that's got two receivers in double path? Well, I can think of plenty of instances. Could be somebody moving up to the, their first jet or first big multi-engine model, and they haven't quite got the confidence to go for it themselves. So they like a more experienced person, obviously, to fly it first, but then just give them control over the buddy box for a flight or two till they get used to it. Or you often find partnerships between someone who's really good at building and someone who's really good at flying. And the person who's done the building would like to have a bit of stick time on the model, but would be quite happy to do it buddy box rather than just sort of throw the transmitter back and forward between them. So I believe there is a genuine need for cable buddy box with dual path. Unfortunately, the cable version that uh, Jetty has come up with doesn't allow this because as soon as you select a uh, teacher buddy box mode in the settings, it jumps to being a default transmission, i.e. Uh, just one transmitter module working, and therefore only one receiver in the model is uh, bound into that, and that's that. So I think Jetty could improve things a lot there still. Also, they've got themselves into a bit of a mishmash of what's available. I've got three transmitters here to show you. A DS24, that can do wireless, or it can do wired buddy box with the proviso that neither of them will go for proper dual path. Here we've got a DS16. This is wireless buddy box only, not wired. However, I will show you there is a way to have it wired, albeit you can only do it as the pupil, not the teacher. And here we have on loan from Jetty UK a DS12. Now the DS12 can only be wired buddy box uh, as the teacher. It can be wireless as the pupil. The reason being it only has one transmission module, so it can transmit to the teacher if it's the pupil, but if you want it to be the teacher itself, then it has to be wired to take the information from the pupil. So Let's have a quick look at how we'd get the settings for it um, between this DS12 and the DS24, first of all, and then I'll show you your options for doing it with a 16. What you need is the cable. Here we have the thing that Jetty sells. Jack for teaching, Jetty model. Uh, if it's not available to you, then it is a 3.5mm jack plug. And it appears to be, I believe that's a stereo one, because it's got the three different uh, segments for connecting. And that goes into the jack plug socket, if I can find it again, on the top of the 12. Okie doke. And the jetty cable, I don't know, it's about a metre, metre and a bit long. And the other end is plugged into the jack plug in the top of the 24. So let's get the system set up for working with a cabled version. Oh, all the main activity alarm. alarm. They're all about to go off. Because <laughs> I switched on all the transmitters at the same time. Right, uh, first of all, we have to tell the transmitters uh, which way they're sending data in and out of their jack plugs. So we go into menu, system, uh, down to configuration, come down to PPM jack function. 
Uh, now the, the 16s don't have this big menu option because they don't have a jack plug. Uh, however, we'll come to that. And the teacher transmitter wants it to be a PPM input because it's taking in data from the other transmitter. Okay. Meanwhile, we go to the pupil transmitter and we go through the same process. Find our PPM jack function, but it's going to be putting out. And I'd suggest just straightforward PPM 8 positive. Doesn't matter really if the uh, teacher is putting out 15, 16, 17, 18, whatever channels. The pupil only needs to send out one channel for each function. So even if there's four ailerons on the model and your teacher's sending out four aileron channels, your pupil only needs to send one aileron command and the, the teacher transmitter sorts it all out. But if you really find the need for it, you could choose PPM 16. We'll go with PPM 8. Okay, next. So that's got the cabling set up. Now we need to tell it that we're going to be a teacher and a pupil. So you go into advanced properties, wireless modes, trainer, and every time you switch off and on, it will go back to uh, the previous mode. It will not stick with teacher and pupil modes. This is probably a safety feature just as well. So each time you, uh, you switch off and on, you've got to go back and do this step. The bit of setting up the jack function, well, that's a system-wide setting that will stay. So this is the only one you have to do. So we're going to be a teacher, PPM input on our 12. I've already set a switch for it. And for the moment, I've just enabled the throttle as a replace, not a mix. Come back to our pupil, up to advanced properties, our modes trainer, mode will be the student, as they call it. Okay, now, this alone should work. There's the servo, buddy box is off, so if I operate the throttle, it won't work because I haven't plugged the uh, receiver in. Stand by a second. Here we go. So, there we go. Servo responding to the throttle. And if I operate the buddy box, I'll just show you for the moment. The 12 is not operating the throttle. So if I switch buddy box on, the 12 no longer operates the throttle. And the 24 now has control of the throttle. All well and good. Switch it off. Now the 12 has control of the throttle again, and that doesn't. So that's the easy step done. We've shown how you can have cabled buddy box uh, from a 24 to the 12 as teacher, or you can do it the other way around if you like. Uh, but if you want to go wireless, then the 12 can only be the pupil because it doesn't have the uh, double transmission module. So next, let's take a look at our options with the 16, and I believe this applies to the DC as well as the DS. Now, the 16 actually has the hardware inside it for doing cabled buddy box, but the only software option it will allow is uh, outputting the PPM data stream. So it can only give a software option as being the pupil. Also, the cable that uh, Jetty sells for it. Sorry, I'm going back to old multiplex days here. The cable that Jetty sells uh, for the jack plug for this only wires into the output pin. Uh, they don't sell one as the input pin, which is bizarre because it would appear to have everything for it. So let's have a look at what we need. First of all, you need one of these. Now, Jetty sell a black and a red version. You need the black one. Uh, it's the difference is one of them stereo, one of them's mono. And so for the buddy boxing, you want the black version. And it's black because it simply has a little bit of black around the beast. There we go. Now, inside, 
you've got to take the back plate off. Inside, next to the memory card, is a little connector. And okay, I have plugged it in. This is the lead that Jetty sell you. That's the black bit. If you buy the red one, this is red. You plug it into there. There's only one way round it will fit. And this is where I th say they seem to have the hardware for it because pin one here is a PPM input according to the DS16's instruction manual. The end pin here is an output, but Jetty only sells this cable for the output. They don't sell one for the input. And when you get to the buddy box, there isn't an option for an input for it anyway. So it appears to have the hardware, but Jetty isn't selling a connector or the uh, menu option for it. Okay, what do you do with this end here? Well, rather conveniently, it fits the holes for any of the switches. So you could remove a switch and put this jack plug in in place of the switch. Uh, or if you really feel up to it, I guess you could try drilling a hole somewhere in the case. Um, but I wouldn't try that unless you're very confident of what you're doing. You don't get swarf from the case, a little drilling chippings dropping down inside and shorting out any electrics. Uh, much safer, if you can, to sacrifice a switch and put this jack plug in in its place. Uh, right, what do we do then? Let's take our connector out of the 24 and I'll plug it into the jack plug socket. I'll put the camera back on the cradle for a moment. There we go. Sorry folks, you have to put up with my workshop. I haven't got the luxury of a lovely neat studio and a helper holding the camera. Here we go. Okay, there's the jetty uh, connector and there is the uh, cable plugged into that jack plug. And so we go through much the same stuff in here again. Uh, but instead of having a jack plug, we only have the connector. So let's have a look. Model, system, configuration. Now, here we are. Um, PPM connector settings, that's what this one is. If you've always wondered what it is, it's that little socket in the board that we've just plugged the jack plug into. It's the PPM connector. And we're going to choose what it's doing. But as you can see, it can output PPM 8 positive and negative, or a PPM 16 positive stream, just like the, the other two transmitters can do. Oddly enough, it's giving us the option of an EX data stream, which the other transmitter is uh, don't do. What it's not offering us there is PPM input. If you remember in the 12, which I'm using as the teacher, one of the options was PPM input. And this is where I say the software in the DS16 is not allowing it to be the teacher. So anyway, inactivity alarm. Oh, they're all going to go off again. Yep, they are. We're going to choose PPM8 positive, so it's going to output that signal. OK, and then just like the others, we have to come to advanced properties, wireless modes trainer, and tell it that we are the student. There we go. And so hopefully this has all worked again. Let's take a little look. This is where I embarrass myself because it's not working. Uh, Buddy box is switched off, so the 12 has control of that. Buddy box switched on. And there we go. So you can have 16 cabled buddy box to the 12 with the 12 as the teacher because the 16 can only be the pupil. Okie doke. There you go. It can work, albeit it's imperfect. Have fun with that, folks. <laughs>